And there it is. The Atlantic Ocean. Now our trip is complete. And the beach. Now folks having fun in the sand. Alright, back to the boardwalk. We'll continue north, that direction. And back at the boardwalk, with all the cool stuff that's on it. Wow, stay way up there. It's after Labor Day, but still a hefty crowd here. All this cool stuff. Can't forget the purple moose. Gotta check that out for sure. At least some stuff from my kid days is still around. You don't have to stop here. Just watch my video. And again, the ocean way down there. Let's shout the word tsunami and start a panic. Over there at the boardwalk, and over here a concrete walk. Guess we'll keep position and stay on the boardwalk. And over here again, more Alfred Hitchcock stuff for you. Watch this. They're not flying away, they're walking away. All right, guys, later. Oxygen, they sell that here too. Along with everything else. There's bull on the beach, but I'm the bullfrog on the beach. How about that? I'm more of a mountain man than a beach boy, but I come around here once every 12 years. And again, the place I stayed in my teenage days, next door to it, the Hampton House. I used to sit on the front porch and take pictures of the girls that walked by. Back when I was 16, back in the summer of 70, that's where I sat. Now it's a storefront. But I'm not 16 anymore, so I guess we'll get moving. And it's here at this point where we depart the boardwalk, head back to our vehicle that direction. How about a little treat for the way home? And back at Coastal Highway, and over there a vehicle. This might have been a railroad town at one time, but for now, here's our train. Picking up US 50 up ahead. The same US-50 that took us to Cool Springs Park earlier this year. But if you watch the vid, the vid, someone didn't watch that vid. 
Still got the drawbridge here. Just don't draw while I'm on it. You're part of the bay down there somewhere. And back in the 80s, we rode our bikes over this bridge from a shopping center outside of Berlin to here, to Ocean City. I was more adventurous back then. I had more stuff on this side of the, of the bay. Every place that was getting built up, stuff I never saw before. Another 10 years, it'll be a real city here. Not just by name, but the real thing. We departed about 6, 10 p.m. We'll see what time it is going back over this route. We're not going to stay on US 50, we're going to pick up Route 404. But we turn here first to get onto US 113, the route I mentioned to you earlier. This is a shortcut to 113. Yep, MD 589. You got that right. When the bridge passes Route 90, another way in and out of Ocean City, opened early 70s. Approaching Route 113, there's an interchange here now. On my last pass here, there was a stop sign. Well, there still is, but I'll take this faster route, I guess. I guess the old road's down where the stop sign is. We'll give this a whirl. First time on this new road here. So this part of 113 is now four lanes. It was two lanes on my last pass. More changes. And up ahead, one more crossing of the Eastern Shore Railroad, which apparently still operates. Good. But apparently, not very often. But now we're back in Delaware for a bit. But just cutting a corner of the state. Not going to be here as long as you were on the way down. Got a bit more traffic now on US 113. We're still about 15 miles away from Route 404. And up here we depart US 113, pick up Delaware 404, which becomes Maryland 404 in time. Now heading west into the sun. The big orange dot way up there. Approaching Bridgeville, Delaware, where we cross over US 13. Anything different here? Let's have a look. Part of the sun in front of us as we cross US 13. here in downtown Bridgeville and again about to cross the Eastern Shore Railroad which at least still operates even if only infrequently and hang a right to keep on 404 now it's the business route which means they must have built a bypass someplace which guess we'll come to if we stay on this road. And the sign says it's got 45 miles to the Bay Bridge. That'll be fun. And it appears where the rerouted 404 rejoins this original route. 
as a nav are back on it. After this light, that is. Back on the original route. And up ahead, we cross back into Maryland. There is a welcoming sign, although we live here. But still, we got miles to go before we sleep or do whatever. And now, by passing Denton, which is to our left of some place. We're getting there as night falls. At one time up here someplace, a couple of tracks once crossed over the road, or one crossed the road and one passed beneath the road under a bridge. Part of the one time Eastern Shore rail system, at least some of it is still left. I just saw earlier. I think a track once crossed through here diagonally came out of the right there, went to the left. Of course, we're not talking ancient history, but someplace here that occurred. In my kid days, the track still existed. But now the four lanes here gets obliterated it. Now back on US 50, which will stay on for a bit and cross the Bay Bridge. Hopefully, without incident. Now crossing the Kent Narrows Bridge onto Kent Island. Obviously, I hope. And finally, up ahead. We approach the Bay Bridge, which they say is the most dangerous bridge in the USA. Hope we cross without incident, as there have been many incidents as of late on this bridge. But in case we don't make it, thanks for watching this vid, thanks for subscribing to me on YouTube, thanks for your support over the past couple of years, two or three years, I really appreciate it. Hopefully that's not my epitaph, I just said. Well, here we go. But in case I don't make it, thanks to all my viewers and my supporters and friends and whatever. At least this direction, you got three lanes, making it a bit safer. Going the other way eastbound, just two lanes. The traffic is crowded on. My most accidents occur on the other span, not on this one, fortunately. And to think, this bridge is visible from Fort Howard. For those of you who saw my Fort Howard vid, I uploaded a ways back. Well, so far so good. And their truck behind me to shove me off. Just a bunch of headlights. Car headlights, whatever. Hard to keep the camera steady there over the bridge. But I'll take a shaky video as opposed to being pushed over the edge. Now going through the suspension part of the bridge. It's got those red light bulbs high up there. Go up there and change that sucker. I'm not gonna do it. Yes indeed. Four miles of terror on this bridge. But hopefully not tonight. So far, so good. We're not at the end yet, though. Other three quarters of a mile to go. 
the end is down there somewhere. Oops. I shouldn't have worded it like that. And up ahead, the end of the bridge. We made it. See, the bridge ain't so bad. It's not the bridge, it's the drivers who cross it. And of course, going westbound, you don't pay a toll. So that way, I cheat the state of Maryland. I just cheated death as well. As I said it would at the beginning of this vid. And now on I-97 northbound. Heading back to the big city. A few miles up, this highway passes a nudist camp. I thought I'd mention that on this video. This road might pass a nudist camp, but it's getting kind of late and I'm not stopping in this time. Just past the Dorsey Road exit, which goes to Dorsey Station of Mark. Whatever, you knew that. And now on the Harbor Tunnel Thruway, I-895. But up here we got a toll, and I said this is a toll-free route. What well, is except for this? You can take the beltway around and avoid the toll, but we'll pay it just to save some time. And here it is, the Baltimore Harbor Tunnel with graduated lighting. Wow, that's bright. It's on day side, not on night side. This is day lighting. It didn't flip the switch yet. Look how it gets dark and it progresses into more reasonable lighting, whatever the term is. It looks like the belly of a whale, kind of, sort of. But up ahead, we emerge from it. There you go, the Harbor Tunnel, brought to you by your bullfrog. And now we're out. We're back into the night after temporary daylight. Now on the Baltimore Beltway, I guess counterclockwise, or what they refer to as the outer loop. Well now, off the freeway, and back on what they call surface streets. All streets have surfaces, so what's the deal with that expression? And back in the hood, with the Baltimore City theme playing in the background. Enough. Hope I showed you a more fun way to get to Ocean City. And save all but one toll anyway. Alright, I guess I'll go inside and edit this thing. But of course you're watching it, so I've been, I got done. Thanks for viewing.